So diversity and inclusion is a big topic. It's defined differently all over the world. But what I can tell you is that teams that have group think, where everybody thinks the same, regardless of gender, sexual orientation, where you're from, what language you speak, what region you live in, groupthink can be dangerous. So diversity is broader than just men and women. We have to think about being inclusive of people who have a different opinion or they're different styles of thinkers. They might be introverts versus extroverts. It may just be that you need to allow the opportunity for teams that work remotely to be and feel more engaged. So diversity and inclusion, while a very hot topic, means something different, but it means something. So you have to understand first, what do your employees think that it means? Then what do you stand for as a company? What are the things that you want to make sure your mission and your vision as a brand brings forward to the market? so that you can attract the talent that you're looking for, as well as the customers. But don't get so hyper-focused on it that you forget about everything else you have to do in the business. So ultimately, it's a piece of the puzzle. It has to be front and center, but it doesn't have to be everything. With this advancement and the advances we're having in artificial intelligence and machine learning, everybody's worried about losing their job. And so now we have a lot of time to think about how do we reskill the people who currently work at our organizations and think differently about who are the right people for the roles going forward and giving them the opportunity to not only be educated but thrive in this new economy. So diversity and inclusion is multifaceted, but the first place to start is to have a conversation and come up with what does it mean for you, for your company, and for your brand.